springtime in Shanghai, and for Team DK, change is nothing new. Since its inception in 2010, DK has consistently reinvented itself to great effect, once being dubbed the Galacticos of the Chinese scene. Despite their prominence, they have yet to realize the ultimate success of any Dota 2 organization, holding the Aegis of Champions at the International. Plagued by internal issues, Team DK's performance in 2013's International was mixed, as they were taken out convincingly by Mushi's Team Orange. DK finished fifth place overall, a place they were not used to being. For Burning, referred to as some as the best carry player in the world, only a win at the International would complete DK's legacy, and his own. With knowledge gained from its losses, Team DK have come to realize that there is a difference between merely making roster changes and renewal. Change is easy, but renewal is something deeper, something rare. This year, DK have taken risks and made the kind of change that is rare within Chinese Dota by asking Mushi, a Malaysian, to join the team. Singaporean star Ice 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 followed suit, creating a new DK lineup that has taken on a distinction that few teams within China can claim. Me and Mushi, we come from uh, Southeast Asia, and I, I think we are really, really aggressive. We sort of suggest a lot, a lot of new things. Early 2014 saw Team DK obtain their first Premier Dota 2 title in the WPC Ace League by defeating Invictus Gaming. They resurged from three games down to win the grand final in a monumental comeback. While change has proven a recipe for success for some teams, a true sense of renewal can create the space and the time for a shot at greatness. But for Team DK, will it be enough?